of Denver's oldest bars and music venues is among the many businesses struggling to make ends meet under current COVID restrictions. So now the lion's lair is turning to the community to avoid closing down for good. Connor McHugh spoke to that owner today about the new fundraising effort. He joins us now in Colfax and Connor. Will this be enough? Well, Karen, with no end in sight for restrictions, it is really hard to say definitively at this point, but the owners here are very hopeful, they tell me. Within the past week or so, they have now received thousands of dollars in donations. It opened in 39 as the Aladdin Lounge. Through decades of changes, one building on East Colfax has endured it all. Then it was a Playboy Club for a little bit. In 1967, John Lyons turned it into the Lions Lair, and since then, it's been a pillar in the local music scene. Papa Roach has played here, the White Stripes, Black Keys, all played here right when they were first starting out. Tony Meggett and his partner Doug Kaufman have now owned the bar for 25 years and 2020 has by far been the most difficult. We actually shut down the bar three days before the governor made us shut it down because we were worried about the customers. Eight months later, the stage remains empty and bills are piling up. Before this GoFundMe, I didn't know if we were gonna make it or not. More than a week ago, the Lair turned to the community for help, posting that GoFundMe page on Facebook. I think it was like five days we reached our first goal. Donations now total more than $27,000. We were looking through people that have donated, and I know a lot of them. There are a lot of old friends, and it's just been really touching. Megat says it'll be enough to cover months of back rent. A glimmer of hope until music can fill the bar once again. We got to keep these places open so these bands and people have a chance. Now, until restrictions change, the Lair is planning on being in survival mode until at least the summer. If you want to make a donation, we have posted the link to that GoFundMe page on our website under the links and info tab. In Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.